Okay, old weather range on the 2020 Bolt TV up to Wells, Maine and back to North Boston. We'll see how far we can go on the 2020 Bolt TV. Fully charged and ready to roll. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Below freezing again, but only for a little while. We don't have much more of this left, so I wanted to take some time to do some winter range testing on the 2017 first, and if we get another day, we'll do one on the 2020 next to it. But this is one of the few days that will be well below freezing for the next probably nine months or so. So we will crack on and see what kind of range we get in a 2017 Chevy Bolt Premier. Nice toasty cabin with the precondition. Better part of fully charged here. We will reset the trip meter. We have used 0.5 kilowatt hours for a little preconditioning there. It's plugged in, but uh, has obviously used a bit more than the level two can provide. Battery temperature is reading as 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Air temperature 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously being plugged in has helped that uh, battery temperature a lot. Starting up and we're at 27 degrees Fahrenheit and just before 6 a.m. here um, and let's get going. if you like, or this, what will become this range test route was to do uh, what I want to call the Mass Main Brewery Dash. So it would be from here in Massachusetts, just north of Boston, um, up to Maine, Portland, Maine, to Allagash Brewing Company, which you may have seen on our winter road trip video up to Portland, where we did a city breakaway fairly leisurely. Um, the route is about up to Portland, it's just over 100 miles, um, so about 110, and down back to Boston would be slightly less because I would end at a brewery called uh, Lord Hobo in Woburn, Massachusetts. So the round trip is roughly somewhere between 210 and 220 miles. Uh, the reason for picking that is typically you get around 200 miles out of your full charge. It may be more in summer, maybe less, or will be less in winter, as we're probably about to find out. So the, the goal is to kind of have that slightly over that 200 mile mark and see if there's a difference between the base uh, which will be the 2017 Bolt EV here with its 60 kilowatt hour battery and slightly um, with lower range, 10% less range apparently on average than the 2020 Bolt EV. Well this is a winter test and we're not going to get many more of these so we'll use this as a kind of isolated how far can we go to 50% and then turn around again, 24 degrees Fahrenheit, according to Google Maps. And battery remaining at a fairly steady 55 degrees Fahrenheit. We join you on the highway. Little 
sliver of New Hampshire, and then you're up into Maine. This is 44 miles into New Press, uh, Seabrook, New Hampshire, which is where the Electrify America site went in, but also where the Electrified Garage, the Rich Rebuilds, EV, Tune-Up and Service Center can be found. Okay, so only just below winter freezing temperatures, but uh, it did warm up there in the last uh, half hour, 45 minutes. But you can see we're pretty close to the 60 kilowatt hour pack, 59.2 uh, kilowatt hours used here to go 177 miles. We did uh, top up at the local supermarket on the way back just to be comfortable because that was flashing by the time I got off the interstate but we're in good shape there 180 miles is reasonable that's the three miles per kilowatt hour that we're looking at there which picked up a little bit maybe it's uh, a bit more downhill on the way back from uh, Maine I'm not sure seems to always pick up a little bit on the way back technique not great that's just the high speeds terrain that was about 1.2 when we were on the way up at the halfway point so maybe got a little bit back there on the way back 1.5 now um, climate settings we did use a little bit to uh, cycle heater on and off um, and then obviously temperature minus five that's just the complete drag of uh, freezing temperatures and sub 32 degrees Fahrenheit 2% climate settings, battery conditioning is odd, I guess it needed to do a bit of heating or the heater was running for that first little bit of the leg, um, so we did lose a bit of energy there, but most of it went to driving and accessories, so it's fair to say that in winter at uh, steady highway speeds, 
in the 2017, you are going to get that 170, 180 miles minimum. Um, but the next one will be to see, well, aside from plugging in now, will be to see how the 2020 Bolt EV does. Uh, will that extra range make any difference in winter? Okay, test two, winter or cold weather range on the 2020 Bolt EV. So cold, below, let's see, we below 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Will be once we get up into New Hampshire and Maine. Nice possible, so we're below freezing, that's the main thing. 233 miles on the GOM, but as you can see, that's based on recent driving around town, up to 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour. It's also been warm around here last few days, so we've been up to almost the 70s. So that is reset. That counts for nothing as far as this test is concerned. And uh, we'll be on our way. <laughs> some of that back but at the, the current juncture it's looking more like turning around at exactly the same point at Wells. Okay this is the town of Wells or at least that town's transportation center but the readings we care about are down here almost 31 kilowatt hours into the pack on the 2020 Bolt EV almost 80 miles driven which is not terribly impressive if you consider we're almost at the halfway point in uh, a larger pack certainly but that is what we're looking at 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour i expect that will pick up a little bit on the way back in the 2017 bolt tv it was uh around 2.8 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour once we got to this same point if i recall so we're looking at uh, at least a 0.2 miles per kilowatt hour deficiency so far in the 2020 um, but obviously a slightly larger pack making up for that to get to the same point pretty much so uh, it looks like they're kind of cancelling each other out at the moment um, temperature has decreased considerably we're down to 21 degrees Fahrenheit here up in uh, you know South Maine but still it's a chillier place than Boston certainly um, climate settings I don't recall exactly what they were the other day but we didn't use much more than two three percent in the 2017 so this is cycling the heater on and off when uh, needed just to keep the cabin a bit warmer it's been cruising speed 20 uh, sorry 73 miles an hour pretty much with uh, slowdowns just in the you know toll plazas and uh, no real traffic to speak of so nothing has been hindering us um, but that is where we are at the halfway point. Let's uh, do the return journey.
Hamilton, Massachusetts. Finishing up, coming up on 160 miles here. 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. We did bump up a little bit, just that 1.1 mile per kilowatt hour, but not terribly impressive, gotta say. We'll crunch the numbers, but uh, we're on 58 kilowatt hours. Wegmans grocery store here. Gonna use the Volta chargers again to just top up. Um, still says 21 miles on the GOM, so it'd be comfortable to get home, but it is into the orange again. Did flash low the other day on the Vol TV 2017. So I guess that at least shows you you get that little bit extra. We'll look at the numbers after we get plugged in here. There we go then, just squeezing in before 10 a.m. The temperature's now above freezing, but for the majority of that, they were 32 degrees or well below into the low 20s. You can see we barely squeezed past 170 miles, and that's uh, on 61.3 kilowatt hours. So it only took the uh, 2017 here, this one, the other day, in similar conditions, went 177 odd miles in 59.2 kilowatt hours. So we are talking two kilowatt hours more to go seven miles fewer. Uh, now the difference there is because the uh, when I got off up in Wells with the 2017, I uh, went a circuitous route to turn around, whereas I realized this time I can just go into that uh, transport depot and flip around so there's extra miles on the clock for that reason but still we've only managed 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour to do kind of a similar distance you know 170 odd miles that proved to be more efficient now this one can go further um, we probably could have got home on the single charge in this one but it does seem as far as we can tell like the 2020 Bolt EV is less efficient in cold weather than the 2017 Bolt TV. Who'd have thunk it? At least the 2020 charges faster. We've confirmed that in other tests, but as far as efficiency goes, it would seem like our 2017 Bolt TV is a little bit more efficient. 